when you try to do a good thing. I have been not a great plant mom, but this one usually always comes back. Over Michelle so I thought I'd just do a little voice over here in case you're like me and you just kind of watch YouTube videos a little more passively sometimes it's in the background so yeah every morning before I start my creative practice whatever it is I want to make I always do a little bit of journaling more of a brain dump and lol my binder or my journal is literally just a binder filled with paper but I really like it this way because I organize it by categories because my journal is not just my journal, it's also my like planner, it's also a place where I keep all of my art ideas, it's also a place where I record some of my successes from the day, some things I want to improve on, worksheets, so yeah, my journal is just a collection of everything but I organize it and that's what I really like doing, so let me know how you like to journal. Hello, it's another day. So I have a few plans for today, but really the main thing that I really want to get done is to take some photos of my jewelry already so that I can make some listings for my Etsy page. And I really feel like this is something I could have had done like two weeks ago maybe, but I've been procrastinating a little bit because I just want to have really pretty photos. In the past, when I have taken photos of things to put up on my Etsy shop, I kind of put a lot of pressure on myself to take those photos all right in like one day, have them edited and have them like uploaded, which is very possible if I didn't care so much what they look like, but I do. So I'm going to be taking a few practice photos, that's more so to get the pressure off. And then if I don't get them all done today, I will try again tomorrow. And then maybe tomorrow I can have like my final photos. So I'm gonna get started on that and then I can get those photos listed and share them with you all. Also, I've been doing a lot of crocheting lately and I haven't been sharing too much of it because really it is me making something and then having to undo all of my work because I messed it up somewhere. I have really been enjoying it so I might be sharing more crochet content in this vlog or maybe in future vlogs but I probably won't stop like jewelry making completely. I'm just experimenting with a bunch of different things. So anyways, that was a complete side note. I'm procrastinating again on taking these photos, but they need to get taken, so let's do it! I'm gonna show you some of my props. So these are just some fake plants that I have that I've collected over the years and the reason they're in a box is just because I redecorated so I didn't know where else to put them. So I have these and I think these are gonna be really, really nice for the photos. And then I also have some of my own gemstones that I went through and collected and put in this bowl. Yeah, I'm thinking that these are both gonna be really, really good. These are what I am going to be using and I'm just going to arrange them and see what I can do. I will say, I think this is why I have put this off for so long because it's just the process of trying to find props I already have, cleaning things up, um, taking off everything from my desk that just is like such a pain. But I know some people love doing that. I don't. I just like to make things but you know, I do enjoy seeing like the end result. This is so random to have. I don't know why I have these, but I don't even think these are mine. I did not need this whole box of stuff. Honestly, I probably just needed that one plant.
So I end up taking photos for like two hours, but I just played with different variations, different layouts, and I think the end result was so worth it. I feel like the pictures came out better than I could have imagined. So if you want me to do a more in-depth video of how exactly I take these photos, um, let me know, but you know, maybe this is just enough to see the behind the scenes. So if you'd like something more in-depth, ask me questions and I can make that. I felt like the photos I took were actually really, really good and I can use them. I took, um, like, I think just the act of doing it, the act of saying I'm gonna do something I told myself I was gonna do and leaving it at that and not having it to be, like, making it something that has to be perfect is like the most important part. So this is the current condition of my workspace. Actually, it's not too bad, I would say, but I'm gonna leave this alone and go get a snack. Let's go get a snack. Oh, I only have a little bit of watermelon left. I have been eating watermelon every single day and I think, to be honest, I go through, let me show you, one of these personal sized watermelons almost once a day. I just got a bunch of them because they were on sale, but I'm pretty sure they're not on sale anymore. Actually, they might be. If they are, I'm gonna get four more. of watermelon now so it'll probably last a day i picked this lemon off of my parents tree it's kind of lumpy but that doesn't mean it's a bad lemon top my watermelon with some lemon and i just really like the taste it's like really refreshing and it gives like that sweet and sour kind of flavor definitely try it if you were looking for like a summer treat and you are living in a hundred degree weather like i am yes I took so long kind of cutting this that I completely forgot about this mess. <laughs> okay, hello, we're back in my messy ass studio. Every time I post one of these studio vlogs or every time I'm like working on something, I always watch anime. This is the anime that I am watching today. I like it because it is a bit longer, so I don't have to like just watch 12 episodes as I'm already working in my jewelry and stuff. Um, and I do watch it in dub because I cannot go back and forth with reading. So this one is actually an older anime, but I'm gonna be honest, I feel like it still holds up. Hello human being. Today is going to be a cozier day, a day where I fill up my cup and I give to myself. The last two days I have been like kind of recovering from my flight back home because like I got home at like 4 a.m. and my body's just been so slow and achy ever since. I'm thinking that I want to do some crocheting because I was drawing out some sketches of like what it is I want to make last night, like at midnight, doing some cooking, so making it really like warm and like hearty like wild rice soup. And then I'm also thinking of going to the gym, getting in a workout and just like going in the sauna for a good sweat. 
So that is what today is going to look like or hopefully what it's going to look like the rest of the day. It's already like 2.30. So yeah, get ready for a really cozy time together. Get your favorite cup of tea or coffee or drink and let's just have a good time. So this is my pile of yarn, but I'm going to be using this one today. And I really love this yarn. It's so soft and it's really plushy. I already have one here and I like to keep my yarn in like this container because it just holds it well. I'm crocheting and I have no idea where this is from, but my mom gave me it. So it's probably from Amazon or Joann's. Honestly, highly recommend one there. Really great, actually. I think I missed a stitch somewhere when I was increasing, um, but I'm just gonna ignore it because I cannot tell where it is. As much as I love this yarn and the way it feels, it is so hard for me to tell where any of my stitches are. Sometimes I feel like I'm guessing, but we'll just see how this turns out. This is where I have gotten with my project so far. I'm still building length at the bottom of it, but basically this is going to be the top of a head. I'm trying to make a cat this time, so we will see how it turns out. But yeah, pretty proud of myself for how far I've gotten so far. So what I'm going to do is take a break from this now and go and get ready for the gym because I just feel like it's time to move my body after sitting here crocheting for a bit filming two videos like I think I deserve to move my body so I'm gonna get changed and we're gonna go to the gym I don't have the best setup to show my outfits but this is just what I'm wearing to the gym I basically just wear different pajamas I have this essential oil roller and it's basically just like orange, <laughs> that's all it is. But I know that certain suns can energize you or relax you and I kind of like that idea so I'm going to put a little bit of this on for energy. But I'm also going to have an energy drink right after this so I don't know, probably doesn't do anything but I think it smells so good. So, oh. Oh, here's my energy drink. So I actually never finish my energy drinks when I drink them. I just think it's too much, but I usually have like half or close to half of it. And then I save the other half for the next day. So this is the one that I am having. This is the first time I've ever tried her brand. And it's actually really, really good. So recommend if you want an energy drink. I completely forgot that I have taken out my cup holder to clean. I have to clean my whole car, but I guess I'm going to just have to drive with it in between my thighs like this. Let's go! So this is my recipe book and it's actually a vegan cookbook but this is why I like it because it makes it so simple to see the ingredients. This is the soup that I'm going to be making today. And then I also have a whole separate recipe for the steak quesadillas.
Hey, it's voiceover Michelle again. So I just wanted to pop in here and talk through a little bit of my process for editing my listing photos because the way I do it now is very different from how I used to do it. So real quick, the way I do it now, I use an online program just through the internet called iPicky and it is completely free and it has like so many tools on there, but I actually don't utilize many of the tools. I just use the exposure, I play with the shadows and the contrast, and then I use the vibrance tool. But really, my goal is to not make my jewelry look different from how it does in person. My goal is to actually make it look like the way it does in person, to brighten up any shadows, to show the color of how it actually looks, to just give it that feeling that it gives me, which is just positivity and happiness and just like a fun good piece. So that is like my goal when I edit things now. Um, it's just to do it in a way that is really natural, that just shows the true nature of what that item looks like. Whereas before, when I had a subscription to Adobe, I used to use things like Photoshop and Lightroom and I really used to over edit my photos not because I thought they looked bad, but because I was just having so much fun playing with the tools, learning how to use the tools. But I'm finding that, you know, the style I really, really prefer is a natural style and that is more in alignment with my values than um, trying to make a photo look perfect. So I hope that this was helpful. <laughs>